Autumn is an absolutely fantastic time of the year in the garden. I love it in mine. There are so many highlights and I love to show it off. So come on, let me show you around. The colour is about to change from flower to foliage and I'm really excited at the prospects of my beautiful October Glory maples colouring up. When I got them from Fleming's, I didn't dream they'd be such a delight. Perth's hotter, drier climate isn't like Canberra, Melbourne or the high country in New South Wales, but this is a tree that will perform anywhere and the colours are amazing. Stay tuned to our Facebook page. I'll post some pictures when we start to see the colour come through. Another colour highlight for me is our flower garden. The roses are almost at the end of the cycle, but we're still picking flowers. And my David Austin varieties seem to be at their best in the mildest of conditions. One job that I do have ahead of me is splitting my sacred lily of the Incas up and spreading the plants further around my garden. When it comes to autumn harvest, it's hard to beat this beautiful tropical tree. This is the mango. The variety is called Kensington Pride. It's the absolute best for most city gardens and it'll grow just about everywhere in Australia, right down in Melbourne, Perth and of course right up into the north. In the north it can get to be quite a large tree but it's a small medium sized tree in my garden and the fruit which is about a month late, well it's well worthwhile waiting for, it is absolutely sensational fresh. Another tree that is a bit unusual is this one, this is the tree tomato or tamarillo. It's a subtropical tree species from South America. The fruits are red or yellow, and they're really unusual as they're a savoury flavoured fruit, making it fabulous with cheese and biscuits and maybe a little red wine. You might wonder what I'm doing here. Well, I'm planting out an old chook pen area with fruit and a plant that I know that you've loved hearing about before. The trees I'm putting in, well, they're citrus, a few late navels and some avocado varieties as well. They're dwarf trees with a wider delivery of fruit over the season. Avocados are great for your health, but this plant is even more exciting. This is called Yarkon. Now I've grown a lot of plants in pots this summer and this planting will deliver a massive crop of tubers, which I'm going to turn into a syrup a little later in the year. Yarkon is a crazy plant. Its tubers are just like sweet potatoes to look at, but they taste, well, a cross between, say, a pear and an apple. But it's not just the flavour that's so appealing with this particular plant. Wash them down, eat these roots. They are full of a fibre. Now, the fibre itself stays in your gut a long time. It's incredibly good for gut health, which is so important now. We're realising more and more that the microbial activity in our stomach is probably the key to our long-term health and longevity. The other thing about it, it's sweet, but with a non-soluble polysaccharide or sugar. Once it goes into your stomach, it binds with other sugars and takes them out of your system. This reduces your blood sugar levels and it keeps you super healthy. Even better, it helps you lose weight. Yes, I caught your attention now, haven't I? This is one plant that, well, the more you eat, the more weight you lose until your body reaches its perfect natural balance. 